As a motorsports reporter and being born and raised in Indianapolis, racing has always been in my blood. I'm a professional racer and car builder, and I've done quite a few car transformations over the years. And with our experiences and friends in the automotive industry, Colette and I have teamed up to combine our love for cars with our desire to make a difference. Helping Hands Garage is all about giving back to deserving families who have a project that's seen better days. This is wonderful. Listen to her. So join us as we roll up our sleeves and drive dreams forward at Helping Hands Garage. Now there are things in life that are just simply put hard to overcome and that is exactly what the Barron family are navigating. After suffering a devastating loss of their oldest daughter, of course, their Dodge project was put to the side. I'm Katie Osborne. And I'm Colette Davis, and this is Helping Hands Garage. Now, Colette, this 1973 Dodge Charger, nicknamed Penelope Cruz, is a survivor, just like the family who's owned it for the past 25 years. When they first got the car, Daniel Barron loved taking his kids on rides to car shows and to burger joints. I love the burger joints point, including his oldest daughter, Caitlin. The family always enjoyed working on the car together and creating memories, but in September of 2020, that all changed. Now with a large hole in their heart, the Barron family is determined to get this Charger back on the road while cherishing their daughter's memory. We're not just reviving a car, we're keeping Caitlin's spirit alive. And the five other kids, some went off to college, some went off to school already, but they took time off to come to Florida to get some work done on the car. I think it's time to take a look at what they've actually done. Let's do it. It takes up the garage space, but my dad really likes it, you know, like he always tells us about it. And when we drive in it, we're like scared that it's gonna break down. So we make a joke about it, like, oh, is the car gonna make it home, yada, 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 but. Uh, the world's worst Frisbee. It's not about the money, it's about like how much it means to him and just the memories he's had in it. Because that mud stuff is what makes the tire go round. I like how it's kind of shiny. He got it the year I was born, and I remember going in rides, and there's pictures of me being like probably way too young to be around this car. Now I went to college, electrical engineering, and the car's been the same, but now I can look at it, I'm like, oh, that's this resistor, that's what this does, that's where this goes, I know how to test this, this, that this voltage is too high, too low. Despite the car just being a hard car, my relationship to it changes constantly. Yeah, ever since I was young, like my dad's always had us kind of help out with like some of the more like minor maintenance things. Like as I've gotten older, like just simple like spark plugs to oil changes to um, replacing the spare tire. Even if I'm asleep on the weekend, like I wake up and I hear like a dunk, 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 and the smell of like exhaust and you're just like, he's taking it out for the weekend. Now when you replace these lines, you gotta be, you gotta be careful because sometimes if they're rusted and you twist on them, they'll actually break. And if the line breaks, that you're in big trouble. You gotta get like fitted lines and everything. It's, gotcha. it's Sometimes it's like a chore. <laughs> gotta go help dad out of the car, <laughs> you know? But um, it's really his passion project. And I think that it's, it's a good thing to create and to work on something. And a car's a great example of that. It was probably the most reliable car for us <laughs> during the first five years of our, of our marriage. It's funny, cause you grow up with the car and you don't always realize it's there. And I remember one time, in every family's life, there's always times when finances are tough. One time I actually thought, I have to, Gina, there's no way we can pay these bills. I've got to sell this car. And my wife said something to me. She goes, don't sell that car. It makes you happy. When you go drive it and you go to the country, you come back relaxed and enjoyed. I said, you're a different person. And I looked at it, I said, I never knew. I said, Daniel, you can't sell that car. I used to take Caitlin to car shows in that car. So the bond is there. So when we were, when she was small, I used to buckle her up and, and drive her. Those are memories that that car and my daughter will, all, will always have. She laughed a lot. She loved to laugh, have fun. The morning before we found out that my daughter had passed away, um, I had a beautiful dream. It was the banquet of heaven. And, and I didn't understand the dream at the time. I didn't even know what it meant. And the peace that God gave me through that dream helped us. I shared with the family. The peace God has given us through this time of, of trial and tribulation has made us stronger. And the one thing that I want more than anything, I tell my kids every day, we're not, we're victors, we're not victims. You don't always feel forgiveness, but you choose to forgive. And forgiveness frees you, it doesn't free other people, it frees you. We've not all gone on a vacation in wow. years, and so, this was such a myth so much to me. As a mom, words cannot express how grateful I am. 
the meaning this is for our family. So you, Daniel, and the kiddos got a head start on this project, and Colette and I are playing a very mean game of catch up yes. here. Yes. <laughs> but what we did hear is the original 318 motor that was in here just hit 100,000 yep. miles. So congrats. Thank you very much. First and foremost, finally did it. <laughs> but we also heard in the process of hitting those miles that it wasn't always consistently starting and getting getting there to get the mile that under is the true. belt. That what, is what's true. the story there? I thought it was fuel related, so I've changed like the fuel pump and the fuel sending unit, and I've changed carburetors. If I can get my children to the point of saying, Dad, it's reliable, I said, now you can drive it. This vehicle has been a very big emotional roller yes. coaster for you, wondering, yes. will it start? And yeah. we can't have that. No, we can't have, <laughs> no, we can't have you leaving here having that issue. So one of the first things we're gonna be doing under the hood is addressing all of those issues with the original ignition system. And we're going to be completely getting rid of the stock manifold and carb setup. Start oh brand new. Gosh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. So hopefully oh that will solve our issues. Fingers oh. crossed, but we're gonna find it out for you. And you know, while we're under there, might as well do some dress up mods as well. Yeah. Oh, Colette, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we got a, a lot of work to do under the hood, so we're gonna start I'm there. I'm ready. I'm ready. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> Let's thank do you. It. Girl, thank you so much. Girl. Of course. Awesome. <laughs> So obviously this is Helping Hands Garage, which means I get to bring in some help to get everything that we need to get done accomplished. And today I have an extra special Helping Hand, my friend Brie Lynch. She loves working on her own cars and she is also an incredibly talented and successful professional stunt driver with over 50 credits to her name, including Fast and Furious, Black Panther, and so much more. Welcome Brie. Thanks for the intro, that's so nice of you. I'm excited to be here. I love riding about my friends, if you can't tell. Have you ever driven anything like this? Um, you know, I think the closest thing that I've ever driven to something like this would be like a Chevy Chevelle that I drove or okay. a Barracuda on Black Panther 2. Very freaking cool. Um, <laughs> talk to us more about what got you started in working on cars as well, because yes, you're a professional stunt driver, but you also rent too. Yeah, my main gig is being a professional stunt driver, and that's what I'm most often doing on set, is just hopping in the car. And something that's really interesting about working in the movie industry is that I show up and I could be driving a brand new car that hasn't been released on the market yet, or something from like the 60s, and the same thing happens every single time, where I have no knowledge of anything that has been done to the car prior to me jumping in and getting ready to drive it. So I think that back at home, that's where I really fell in love with the building process and wrenching because I know exactly what I'm doing to the car before I take it to the track, which builds a lot of confidence in me to be able to actually push the car to its limit. Today, we're gonna learn all the struggles about this car. We got a lot of work to do. Yeah, so. I'm excited to get my hands dirty. So uh, show me where the tools are. Yeah, let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Helping Hands Garage, where we are currently tearing into the 73 Charger. Now, we already drained the coolant, got our battery out, got the old carb out, and now we're just removing everything to access our manifold so we can add in all of our nice, shiny new parts. But in, in taking some of those bits off to the manifold, I think we're having a debate whether or not to just delete the AC. Is that right? Edgar, what do you think? You think we should keep the AC or get rid of it for now? Well, honestly, you know, on a, on a car this age, I think we should we need to go ahead and remove it. It doesn't work. Uh, that's what my brother said. He was like, it hadn't worked in a long time. So I think, you know, even if we do decide to go back with it, it would need to be a, a new system because the new systems work a lot better. We have to remove it anyways to get to the intake. Yep. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and remove it and probably leave it off and it'll make the engine bay look a lot cleaner anyways. He's <laughs> old school. <laughs> I did not break that one loose. That's the only one I didn't get to break loose. 1973, never been removed. 318, 100,000 miles. Let's see what we get. All right, there she goes. Oh, God. oh that, man, look how clean. I mean, it's warm, but I mean, wow. Realistically, when I was back in the back there, I heard you say it looks fantastic. It was so clean. How much did that surprise you? A lot, actually. I mean, you're talking about a 1973 vehicle with the intake first removed. Engine's never been torn apart, so it actually looks really, really good <laughs> on the inside. Well, the passion that Daniel has for this car is obviously unwavering. We, get, we feel it all here in the garage, of course. But what I find so interesting is you're actually leading the ship as it relates to kind of everything under the hood. What is your background to kind of be the captain? Uh, well, okay, so I do have a, a background in vehicles. Uh, it's just a hobby I started with at a young age. And then as I grew older, I, I got into cars. I was able to meet up with the right people and I built some award-winning cars. I've been with Jay Leno. I won a Concours d'Elegance in Boca Raton. So 
having that background, you know, and I love to share that with my brothers. And so, uh, you know, and I help people a lot. So when it comes to his car, I was like, I want to do it all to your car. So let's go with this, you know, so that's where I get involved. Well, in. I know Daniel can hear us. So that's one thing to keep in mind here. But if you could describe him as a family man and doing this build for his family um, to, you know, celebrate the life of Caitlin and also pass it down uh, to the five other kids, how, how would you describe Daniel as so the, that father? I figure? want you to know this guy right here has been through so much. Okay. And for us and for y'all to do this to him means the world to me and I'm sure to my other brothers. But just the thing that he's been through so much and that we can get behind him and support him, we want to see him happy. We want to see this car go to his kids because we know what his kids mean to him. Yeah. Uh, they mean a lot to us too. So for them to be able to drive this car safely yeah. and around town and say, you know, <laughs> hey, finally, like I said, finally, uh, that would just mean the world to see them happy and to know that, hey, they're driving that car around and that we all pitched in. Yeah. I mean, I could not ask for anything else. We really can't. Sweet. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm broken. I don't know if that's the right socket. Yeah. Ooh, yes. We just finished ripping out a bunch of our old parts that we don't need anymore. And in front of us, this is the fun stuff. Okay, this is where we get to install all of our new shiny parts, starting with our brand new intake manifold by Edelbrock. This is a dual plane, non EGR, and oh. street legal version. <laughs> That also looks really nice mm -hmm. as well. And we're going to be pairing this up with your brand new four barrel car. I can't believe which it. Which is gonna be a big improvement yes. from your old yes. tiny two barrel. <laughs> yes. Another change that we're gonna be doing is going from your old Halifax style distributor mm -hmm. to an HEI style distributor oh, that has my God, the foil actually on the outside on the side right there. Much more dependable. That's what I've been wanting to get is this HEI, but I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Well, we're going to so, help you with it right here. You, I mean, you, you. in addition to a massive performance upgrade, yes. this is also a really nice visual upgrade, it too. It is. It is. When we took this off, I promise you this thing weighs about 70, maybe 75 pounds. I couldn't believe it. And this one, I just pick up pick like up this. One this hand. is amazing. Yep. I absolutely love the fact that it's made in America, and I'm looking at four barrels. I've been wanting a four-barrel carburetor for since the day I bought it, 25 years. So when I looked at it, I said, I'm still going to buy the car. You just need one of these. Thank you. We got you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, this four barrel carb is definitely going to help you with your idle and your cruising performance yes. for sure. It's so great that Classic Industries hold all of these brand new parts for these older engines, such yes. as the brand new intake manifold that we have. Yes. This four barrel carburetor that you're obviously very excited about. Yes. And then now we have a brand new distributor, new spark plugs, new spark plug wires. It's going to be a really great upgrade for you. I did not know Classic Industries had this. And here they are in front of me. He says, this fits my car. This will work. I said, this is fantastic. So shout out to Classic Industries. Guys, thank you. I'm telling you, we, when you don't know what they have, you don't look there. Yeah. Now that I know what they have, watch where I'm going now, guys. Yeah, thank you. That, absolutely. All right, talk to us. What do we find? So if you look carefully right here, uh, we're going to be replacing the timing chain on this 318. What we noticed when we removed the timing cover was the teeth are actually broken. <gasps> uh, so oh, with no. the teeth broken, this engine would have actually never stayed in time. So what we're gonna be doing is replacing this with a new timing chain. It's gonna be a double roller. And instead of the uh, timing chain being made out of this plastic that they used to do back in the 70s, we're gonna go back with a metal one and that will help keep the engine in time. When you kind of reflectively look back at some of the times and memories you've had in this car, it, there's been a lot. And I know already you've shared so many stories. Right. There's right. one in particular with Caitlin that there, there has is. brought a smile to I your face. I will never forget it. And it's, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to keep the car going and reached out and said, you know, who can help me with this car? I've been taking Caitlin in this car since she's been a baby in her baby carrier. So that was 25 years. When she was about 18 years old, uh, I said, let's go to the mall. She goes, let's go, dad. She's always had a wild spirit. So we're going to the mall. We do some shopping, we're walking around, having fun, laughing, loving life. And as I'm exiting the thing, I just decide for some reason to punch it. Said it never works. <laughs> well, why not? But for some reason <laughs> she caught and Penelope spun and I lost control for a second. I tried to bring it back and I hit the brakes and I ended up blocking the entire both lanes of the street. And I'm sitting there going, You're that guy. Oh my God, I'm that guy. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, I said, oh my God, don't turn off. And it stayed on and I put it in reverse and I'm trying to tell my daughter, baby, you shouldn't do that. It was got to do that. And all I could hear her say was, do it again, dad, do it again, dad, do it again. And I swear, I said, my goodness, that was her. She yeah. loved life. When I said, let's do something, let's go. She didn't want to know. She just had to go get life. Yeah. And this car would bring it out in her. And she would say, look, dad, you're enjoying it. Look at the sound. I said, honey, 
there's something about being with you and enjoying this and you telling me to do it again, do it again. And I'm trying to be a responsible dad, baby. I'm not supposed to do it again. I'll never forget it. Those, those kind of images will always be with me. Yeah. And I look back and I say, you know, life isn't fair, mm -hmm. but at least I got her for 20 years. Yep. And that's better than not having her at all. Yeah. And so what you guys are doing helps, helps like you wouldn't believe. And a little goosebumps in the process, a few tears as well. But yeah, thank you for sharing the story because yeah. that is what's keeping it alive. That's yes. the passion that's keeping yes. her legacy and what she is alive Absolutely. in it all. Well, of course, the car is coming alive here momentarily in the Helping Hands Garage, but there's still a little bit of work to do. When we come back, Bree and the Helping Hands Garage team are going to be diving into the exhaust, the brakes, the things you want to make sure that that car is safe and reliable on the road so we can continue the legacy and the love of it here on the roads. you can finally have the parts on the car you wanted and actually get to put it in a place to where we all feel like driving it because we're gonna be the ones who drive it next. I did get both of them with the with my just my fingers. <laughs> Under the hood we have some additional pieces from Classic Industries to clean up the engine bay. We're replacing the old rusty battery tray with a new one from OER that's EDP coated so it won't rust over time. We also replaced the washer fluid reservoir which was yellowing and now we have a brand new one with the OEM badging so it's a direct replacement and threw on that brand new Edelbrock intake manifold. It looks beautiful. And to top it all off, we put on the brand new chrome valve covers from Classic Industries and it really buttoned it all up. With everything that we've done, the engine bay looks completely transformed and we love how it all came together. And it's day two here in the Helping Hands Garage. Colette, we still have Brie on board with us. Thank goodness here, as you guys were working hard under the hood, it got cleaned out completely like you were saying. And you're gonna feeling kind of good now that we're underneath the car. Yes. It's a full transformation <laughs> under the hood. So now we can get underneath the car and we notice this really old rusty exhaust that we're going to be completely replacing <laughs> under here. It's been re-welded, crushed in, taped even at one point. So it's gonna be a big improvement for this vehicle to get a brand new exhaust on, and that's what we're gonna do. You know what, honestly, when we're gonna take this exhaust off, we might as well install those brand new stainless steel brake lines that we yeah. have, because oh, we're replacing yeah. the soft lines and the hard lines, because it'll make this car a lot more reliable, yeah. safer to drive. The key words, reliability and safety. Well, we might as well start tearing apart this exhaust. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> this is our new exhaust from Classic Industries. It is also a stock replacement, but it's also an upgrade as well because we're going from a single tip to a dual tip exhaust and we're increasing the diameter, going from an inch and three quarters to two and a quarter and we're pairing this with some nice tips too. Yes, these are called machine gun tips and I have absolutely loved these the day I saw them and I said, I wanna get Penelope a pair of these and now I'm gonna actually get to put these on. They're like red high heels. She's gonna look beautiful. They sound magnificent. And I love the name, Machine Gun Tips. This Penelope's is incredible. Her red bottoms. Yeah, the red there bottoms. you go, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I promise you, people are gonna say, that's a beautiful exhaust. I said, I got it here from Classic Industries so with your help. These mufflers have some extra baffling in them. So it's gonna be nice and quiet when you're cruising, but yes. when you really get on it, you're really gonna hear everything. Beautiful. And along with that, this is a luminized seal for your exhaust so you won't have to worry about it rusting. So I can't wait to hear it. Oh, it's gonna sound incredible. Welcome back to Helping Hands Garage. It's almost time to get Penelope Cruz and Daniel in the driver's seat yes. on the road. But you were standing around here and you had just said, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Why, why are you nervous? I don't know how to be grateful to everybody. To you, to Colette, to Bree, to my brothers, my sisters, Brandon, Manny, Matt, especially putting this together, and everybody, the TV crew who's been wonderful. It, it's been wonderful laughing because as you know, when a, when a parent loses a child, you have to go through stages and you always carry that cross. But to see, to be us together, which is rare, and to laugh and to remember old times brought us together and say, you know what? Life can be good. 
You've got to go on. I've got the support of my brothers, the love of my wife and my children. And all of this together, when I was putting this together, I kept thinking of Caitlin. I said, baby, I'm going to get the car ready so that when I'm driving, I'll have you there. Yeah. But it's going to work. And, and it was just wonderful coming together and joking and laughing and kidding. And I, I'm just so grateful. So thank you for keeping her going. This is just an incredible dedication to Caitlin. And I'm so happy to see you and your family cruising down this. Mm -hmm. We need to see that video. Yeah. And okay. can't wait to hand over the keys to you. Wonderful. We'll send it. Yeah, and as Clev mentioned, the handing over the keys is next on the docket. And <laughs> but what I love, again, your family is so large, it's going to be trading, trading oh, yeah. turns at that oh, point yeah. in time and yeah. making sure you guys all get in the driver's seat as well. <laughs> all, in the, all in honoring and celebrating life of Caitlin. So thank you for bringing you guys together. Brothers, thank you for being here. As Colette had mentioned, it was such a treat and a joy to hear the laughter and the camaraderie and the energy that you guys put out here in the Helping Hands garage. Um, but for everybody else here, uh, all the hands that got dirty in the making of this, thank you. And we'll thank get you. Penelope Cruz on the road here so soon. Sure. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you all. God bless you. Thank you. I'm in Florida driving with my beautiful children and beautiful wife. And the car right now is wonderful. Like, yes. this is nice. Yes. I think no matter what, this car will stay in our family for generations to come. <laughs> we'll to put it in the will. Don't to keep sell it. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to keep Don't it alive, it. Um, to keep it, to pass it down to their grandchildren and children. I know they would love to take it to prom, maybe even when they get married on their honeymoon, take it, you know, drive it off after they're married. This is wonderful. Listen to her. Listen to her. She sounds much better. Thank you for giving, giving, and we hope we can and help. Your crew and everybody, people. yeah. And meeting all the crew back here. I love it. I watch the shows every Saturday. as my wife. Yes, he knows everyone <laughs> by name. I know the cars. I know the project. So. I'm, I'm a regular man. <laughs> It's really awesome having the family and my friend Bree here to help us out in this episode. Yeah, what I really like is how Daniel summarized everything. Just gratitude. Gratitude that Caitlin's spirit's being kept alive. Thankful that he had the time with his brothers. And I think that we can say thank you, Daniel, for sharing your story right here on Helping Hands Garage. That charger, that's going to live on in the family for a very long time.